we're we're working together, right? You know, I think yeah, so. yeah, yeah, we're working together. Yeah, we're we're, we're, we're escorting Mister uh, Fancy Pants up up north someplace. Yeah, yeah. Um, Help me find a pack mule. Oh yeah, yeah. I can see you kind of are a pack mule <laughs> right now. Yeah. Um, sure. We, let's just take a peek. You want me to carry some of that for you? Uh, would you? Yeah, so absolutely. I would love to. All right. How is it going to turn out? Horrible. <laughs> so, uh, I give him the tent. The twenty. Uh, <laughs> there's a tent for you. Uh, <laughs> um. What what do I enter that as? Just tent? Yeah. You can actually look it up in the information tab. Oh, fantastic. Um, yeah. No, I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna remove a tent. <laughs> like sweet freedom. Yeah, I will. I will. Horatio will gladly carry the tent for you. Tent. Command tent. <clears throat> that seemed to delete this lovely little blank option here I accidentally created. <laughs> uh, oh, by the way, that blank is three hundred pounds. The oh okay I'm, I'm I, joking. Oh okay. <laughs> okay. I, have a, I have a blank that's three hundred. Where did I acquire that? <laughs> okay, I got a tent. I can I whisper to tent. you too? Excuse yeah, you me? can. All right, I'm going to say. All right then, since our attempt with the jewelry failed, why don't we try bartering the jewelry that we had for a mule? You know, I like how you think. I think we could save a lot of dough. Don't mean in money, not not as in like bagels. Some people don't know that. I lost a lot of money once. <laughs> I think I have, I think I have bagels to too. Say just that guy b bought a lot of food. Oh, did, did he buy all this for you? <laughs> what are you made of gold or something? What'd you say? Uh, I just said I didn't want to buy anything. So oh, he bought it. Out I of his own a, pocket. Guess he has a cool sense of humor or something. <laughs> I said, hey, as long as you're paying for it. I say that to people and they say no go. So I mean, I did just do it, do it like that. Let me if I can get hungry. Huh? You're getting hungry? I got like, I got like dried <laughs> fruit and stuff. <laughs> about this lady. Got like a, a bag of it. So, so... You, 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 um, what should I, what, I don't know your names. What should I call you? I'm Horatio Anvil Thumper. Horatio, okay. Horatio. This is a Bri Brian, what, what is your name? Brian. Brian. Oh, sorry. Brian. Brian. I'm so sorry. Brian. I don't uh, have a name. Her, her, Horatio, um, and Rayanne. I'll try to remember that. Is it, is um, it Rayanne or Rayanne? Does it have a B? No B. Oh, Ray I thought it had a B. I'm so sorry. Ray Ann. <laughs> not in the not in the brain box. Or Ray for short, I guess. Or Ray. Oh. Ooh. I like nicknames. It saves me so much time. It's all about efficiency. Uh, there's, there's no nickname for me. Oh. All right. You can, you can if you... I can't call you Nor. How about Ick? It, it, I call you Ick? <laughs> you got big on that? You know, you know call, I, I'll, I'll make a deal with you. Yeah. You can, you can call me whatever you want. Help me find a pack mule. All right, Ick. <laughs> we're going to find a pack mule. Um, do I roll perception or investigation? It's investigation. Uh, investigation, since you're looking for something very specific. All right. Eleven. Uh, you know, that gives you a general direction. It, like, how how do you guide yourself to a pack mule? Like, is this, like, a random wondering, or you're like, hey, no. random guy? Um, yeah, I, uh, asking, for, mixture of asking for directions and smelling the air, because I imagine the stables would not smell great. Um, well, there is the human stench around you, so it kind of makes things a little fuzzy. But, uh. you know, with, after inquiring a few, uh, people, I, you... Get wind, ha ha ha. Of uh, <laughs> they sell animals by the riverfront around the General Talbot M Memorial. Oh, fun! I love history. Okay. All right, so we should probably head down over there. 
Oh yeah. Let's, uh, let's head down there, and we're not He's restricted right now. Walk. Is Austere gonna notice us as we're walking by and say anything? Since it's quite the walk. Uh, technically, Austere is probably like somewhere else, so don't worry about him. Okay. Let's get down by the memorial. Does it say down anything cool on the memorial? On the memorial, do I roll perception to look at it? I. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, what's your passive perception? My passive perception, um, that's just two. I think it's 12, actually. Oh, oh, is that... Yeah, uh, so it's your perception perception bonus plus uh, 10. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's, 12 then. Uh, yeah. 12 then. Yeah. Cool. I'll just tell you what you generally notice about the statue. All right. Um, yeah, there is a giant plaque that says uh, Memorial of General Ta uh, Talbot. Talbot. Blah, blah, blah. Wow, I can't say that name. I said it before. Talbot? Talbot, yeah. And uh, it says um, Hero Against the Battle of emboss and you know dates and the statue is of a large strapping man square jaw pointing his sword toward the sky as his uh horse is like on its hind legs you know the traditional i'm yeah. a hero statue yeah yeah that's what you notice mm -hmm. All right we're supposed to sell pack mules around this place somewhere uh, yeah yeah, you can, you can see down by the river, there's a bunch of animal stalls and poor souls who are cleaning up the horse shit, and they're basically dumping it into the river. It's gotta be great for hygiene. <laughs> I'm going to resist the urge to smuggle the stuff as fertilizer. I'm not gonna do that to you guys. <laughs> oh, please don't. <laughs> Yeah, I won't do that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and, there's, um, and this is like a crazy thing. You see people like holding chickens by the legs and shouting at you to buy the chicken. Uh, there's like goats trying to jump over fences, but they're a little bit too high for them. You can hear pigs and you see a cow. And, you know, this area is a little bit less uniform than it was up north where there were like actual stalls. It seems like maybe a person has a tent, but multiple animals. Okay. Hey, um, my buddy here, he's looking for a pack mule. You wouldn't happen to know of anyone who's selling one? Well, I'm selling one. I got mules. I got a pony. Hell, I have an ox. What do you want? Well, what do you, you want? You got any particular preferences there, on, uh, Nick? Uh... I just need a mule. Just a mule. He just wants a mule. Just a mule. How about a mule, mule named Herbert? Herbert's a good mule. Aren't you, Herbert? He slaps the mule on the back. And the mule just doesn't look entertained. <laughs> Can I do... Oh, wait, do I have any animal handling? We need what's-her-name. Uh, Lane? <laughs> yeah. you don't have her. I have no... <laughs> Animal hand. Okay, got, so I would her name, but I've got a little bit, not much. I'd like so, to be um, my voice can carry through. Oh, your voice is carrying through. Hello. Yeah, we can okay. hear you, Christy. No, I was meaning yeah. I could shout the name. In the oh, game. yeah, that wouldn't carry though. I don't. No, yeah. not not from this. You're thousands of. You feet guys away. are like yeah, <laughs> across town. Almost. Yeah, the I mean, this the the square mileage of the market is about a mile. This is yeah. literally a large, large market. Okay. Hey, nobody hearing me. <laughs> I, no, we can hear we we can hear you, Christy. Yeah. No. no, no. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. Okay. I I got a little confused too. I'm like, okay. no, your audio's on. Can I roll perception okay. to see if this is a quality if Herbert is a quality mule? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I want that on a t-shirt, by the way. Okay. Oh, I'm blind. I'm oh. so blind. Can I can I Herbert. roll? Oh, can I roll medicine to see if it's in good health? Yeah, totally. 
Sorry about that. Bam. Bam. You know about <laughs> mule health. And Herbert, Herbert's probably one of the more healthy mules you'll ever see. All right. How you I, feel about this? All I can I, tell it's got a mule. I, hey, uh, buddy, I, I can tell you Herbert's the mule. bestest. I think uh-huh, it's a uh-huh. pretty yeah. good mule. You think it's a pretty good mule? Yeah, I, I'm whispering this to, oh, okay. to um, Horatio <laughs> so that the guy in the market doesn't hear. Okay, I don't, I don't say that out loud then. Hmm. You know what? This aged beast looks a little sickly. How much are you asking for him? What? Herbert Sickly? He's never had a sick day in his life. I mean, look uh-huh. at him. Look at uh-huh. the strapping mule. And he slaps it again. <laughs> Herbert, <laughs> once again, just gets an unamused look. On and then no wonder he doesn't look so good with all that slapping. How much are you asking for him? Well, this is a grand mule. He's, uh-huh. He has a heritage of grand mules. His mm-hmm. grandfather took a 3,000 pound brick and carried it for two miles. Dropped dead afterwards, but still, that's a feat. Right. That's I, good I get, stock there. I get the picture. You like killing your animals. Okay, how much you asking for it, though? <laughs> Damn. Looks so miserable. Uh, 15 gold. 15 gold? Man, I wouldn't pay 15 gold for a mule like this to save my grandmother's life. You got it. Nine. Uh, uh, Horatio. Horatio. Can, I roll, can I roll persuasion to yes. make him? Nork, please. Nork's going to say to Horatio real quick, Horatio. Yeah. I, I am a, and he's going to say so the shopkeeper hears. Uh, he's going to, Nork's going to say, you know, I am a doctor. I can, I can tell you the health of this mule. And I'm going to try and do some deception. <laughs> um, <laughs> to fool the shopkeeper. In, need I remind you, you have a boatload of costume jewelry. <laughs> Oh yeah. So can I try and uh, do do deception and yeah. and yeah using do, my medical skills? Yeah, Nork, do your de- uh, deception. Horatio, give me your persuasion. Uh, okay. Oh damn! All right. So this this uh, Nork's gonna say, you know, this uh, uh, he's going up over a professional looking medical inspection of this mule. Uh huh. And uh, Nork's going to kind of hmm, shake his head a little bit and says, ah, it's too bad. And uh, just kind of give overall poor sense of, of, uh, of outlook on the animal and its health. Uh, yeah. This, you know, this, uh, and he turns to Horatio and says, this, this mule does not look very healthy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought. A very high price. Whoa, whoa, buddy. Okay, I don't need a bad name here. My mules, for generations, have been the strongest, the bestest mules ever. Mm-hmm. You know what? Yeah. Fifteen? Yeah, that was a little steep. You know, people who don't know mules will actually pay that much for this, like, pedigree mule. But for you, you know, let's let's do ten. Like, a little bit higher than your nine, but, like, ten's good. Ten's good? All right, this is this is after my my persuasion, right? Yeah. All you right. Offer nine. He's saying ten. Uh, we'd be taken out at a loss, but I think we can take it. Oh, that's that's good. That's good. And no. uh... oh yeah, that's right. The rules said it has to be. Um, you would you be in any objection to taking a little bit of prize jewelry as supplementary to that price? Say half in cash, half in jewelry, so you get a real investment. I have no problem with that. Let me see the jewelry. Let's, uh... Okay, so I'll, I guess, would I roll deception to convince him that that a piece of... That I'm gonna go with five pieces of costume jewelry are worth five gold? Yeah, uh, roll me a deception. All right, uh, deception. I, I hit the button, did it not? Oh, there, oh, there it goes. There you go. Uh, he looks at it. He, um... He looks a little convinced, but, uh... His wife comes up and whispers something in his ear. And... Can, can I... Can I hold that? Can I see it? Now, you got eyes, don't you? 
well, how do I know if it's real gold or not? Well, doesn't it, I mean, like, look, it's golden. What more do you want? <laughs> Those are high quality heirlooms you're holding. They're from her family. They were all rich and noble until you know their mansion burned down. Uh, he looks he looks a little embarrassed now that uh you know he's slamming your uh heirloom and I jewel, start jewelry. crying. Oh, roll me a performance, please. <laughs> <laughs> I want to like hold her. It's okay. Oh, crap. It's oh 21. One. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, he starts he starts feeling L Listen, lady, I I didn't mean anything. I didn't mean to this, your family or any yes i'll take the jewelry and the uh five gold all right all right i i we have ourselves a deal and i shake on it yeah and, give... he, and he gives you a, a it proof means of the purchase. world to me and then i'm gonna give him the five pieces of jewelry and then i'm gonna look at norik and kind of do this little beckoning gesture with my hand, like where you got the money, you get to pay up. Yep, yep. And I, uh, I hand hand over uh, five gold pieces to him. Yeah. You, you guys, right. you guys got a mule. Pleasure doing business with you. Always a pleasure. Uh, okay. Uh, let Herbert me. Mule. And Pardon then, the uh, uh, Walking away from the shopkeeper a little bit, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to uh, Horatio and and say, "How much did the jewels cost?" You know, I didn't even pay for them. Those were mine. Yeah, <laughs> she almost got me arrested trying to sell them. All right, then I'm gonna turn to yeah, yeah, and then how much did, how much did they cost? <laughs> they cost three silver pieces for the total. Oh, that okay. just sings music to my soul. I'm I'm gonna let's see. I gotta look up. What was the trade uh, again for silver versus gold? Oh, you're gonna pay that. That's so nice. One to ten. Oh. One to ten. I think. All so. right. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna take. Uh... Let's see. Whoa. I'll pop up here. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to give, uh, five silver to, uh, each of them. Oh, that's very generous of you. Thank you. It is just a pleasure helping just, uh, out. To pay you back for your investment on the jewels, Ray and thank Horatio. You. Thank you for helping with the sale. Absolutely. Anytime I, is my greatest pleasure to help make a sale. <laughs> okay. So... We're going to pan off to Lane now, who's having her own little adventure. Aha. Uh -huh. um, so, having the uh, the tentative deal, I'll, uh, I'll head over to this alchemist stall and uh, the one they pointed at they didn't like. Yep. And just kind of take a good look at it. Like, what kind of stuff is he selling? Do they have, like, expensive stuff on display? Like, what is this shop? Like. Um, it happens to be another wood elf manning the stall. Mm -hmm. She's like by wood elf standard, she's like a ten. Okay. And um, she's. It looks like she has a whole bunch of different potions. I mean, uh, give me our canna roll. Because I think that's the closest thing to identifying potions. Yeah, you recognize uh, some of them as healing potions. Um, mm -hmm. There's there's some others that you can't quite identify. Um, you know, just bottles full of swirling smoke and some some with red liquid. Uh, some that have liquid that you almost cannot see. I mean, there's there's a lot of stuff in her stall. Got it. Um. So Lane is going to um. So is she the only one attending the stall? Uh yeah, and she looks okay. like she's um you know, uh she's also doing stuff in there. She's making like potions in front of people. Uh, there mm -hmm. is a crowd of admirer, admirers. Mm -hmm. 
um, and watching. Is is her stall openly visible from the Widow Smith hut or not? Uh, not really. There's too many tents in the way. Perfect. Um, so Lane's gonna kind of do the same thing, kind of slam her gold pouch on the counter, bringing attention to it. Yep. And, and see if she reacts at all. Uh, she doesn't have the same reaction as the other two. Mm -hmm. Um, she, uh, like, takes out, uh, an equivalent of a thermometer, checks her brew that she's doing, uh, wipes off her thermometer, and greets you. Uh, she actually says it in Elven instantly, as she recognizes you as a fellow elf. Hello? And I greet her in Elven right back. Hello, how do you do? I'm um, doing fine, thank you. I think I've just connected a few dots. Is it possible for you and I to have a word real quickly? Friendly, of course. Uh, of course. Um, would you like to close the shop up for a minute, or can I come back there and talk with you for a minute while you work? Um, sure, you can You can come back. And she, she uh, like, lifts a little uh, area on the counter where you can yep. hop back. So, in all in Elven... Uh, actually, I'll see if she can... I'll ask her in Elven if she can speak Sylvan or not. Uh, she answers back in Sylvan. Perfect. So we'll switch, to, we'll switch over to Sylvan. Maybe the other guys can't speak that. No. Um, so would I be correct in assuming that you might have ran into a little bit of uh, aggressive Wood Elf male trouble lately? <sighs> Oh, you must mean Vern. He's been, let's say, <laughs> wooing me for the last 15 years. And did you perhaps pull a prank on them to get back at you, to get back at them for harassing you? She Some rolls. type of ointment or solve you might have provided them for some type of issue. Uh, she rolls her eyes and shakes her head and she's like, <sighs> Unfortunately, I did not prank them at all. I am engaged and Vern is not taking it very well. Hmm. Oh, that would have been more amused if you had pranked them. <clears throat> well, let's just say they are looking to sabotage some of your wares. And if I do sabotage some of your wares, they're going to cut me a deal on some uh, tools to hide lycanthropes. You seem like a sweet girl. I'd hate to do you any harm. I'm wondering if you'd help me out in uh, staging a, uh, a fake sabotage. Maybe some exquisite looking bottles filled with water, rake on the ground, and I leave this note. Fair enough. Of course, I'd pay for the bottles. Yeah, even better. She uh... Actually, while we're at it, you do have quite an impressive stock, and it would help me with my cover. Uh, do you happen to have some reasonably priced lesser healing med kits, or perhaps holy water? Holy water, I can provide for free if it oh, thank you. basically gets them off my back. The cure. Uh, the minor cure. Let's see. Once again, another uh, merchant gets gold. out there. Yeah, 50 gold. <laughs> yeah, I should like memorize this stuff by now, but like it never <laughs> sticks. It's hard because they're yeah. just arbitrary numbers. There's yeah, like, there's just no. Like, it's like, why is it fifty gold for for a tiny bit of health? I don't know. But. Mm. Since you've warned me, and this might actually get rid of the pursuit of Vern, 
I'll sell you um, the cure minor wounds for twenty. It's a deal. Yep. And um, and I'm, I'm assuming we can fast forward and just we do the little fake sabotage scene where I look yeah. like I spill some stuff and make it very public, and then yeah. slip a note on the ground. Yep. And, cool. and how know, many vials of holy water did she give me? Just one? Uh, she'll give you, like, three. Okay. Great. Because ba basically, you know, people it's, just It's kinda, a city. It's yeah. going to be around. It's it's everywhere. There's a church right there. Yeah, there's there's <laughs> basically a temple, like, right, you know, yeah. like, 200 <laughs> feet away from you, basically, so. Yeah, that was my backup plan. Cool. Got it. So that happens. Yeah. Um, and uh, there's people who are like, oh my god. And uh, you see at least like one or two people head toward the uh, blacksmith quarters. Mm hmm. Yeah. And, I, and I, I'm like, I'm so sorry and all apologetic. Do you want me to roll performance or anything or not? Please. Please okay. roll performance. Uh, here's my time to fail. <laughs> It's our time. Oh, yes, I called it. I you called are. It. I think you're just overly dramatic and saying your yeah. lines like a bad like actor. I am so sorry that I spilled your your wares on the ground. I apologize for this discretion. Please forgive me. <laughs> like that. It's not a great day for performances for us. The no. exception of the class of the buying Herbert the meal. Well, maybe for y'all, but so far I'm g doing good. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Ran is crushing it. Um, <laughs> though she, on the other hand, um, she's like acting pretty well. Like mm -hmm. she's al almost like you know, she's going. It's okay. You don't have. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, yeah. you know, just telling you everything in a friendly manner. And, like, she's doing it good enough, you almost feel like it's all genuine, and she's a really nice, kind soul. Aw. Well, that's sweet. <clears throat> um, so I, I thank her and, and Sylvan, mm -hmm. and say goodbye, and then I'll head back over to the blacksmith. And the um, first thing I'll say... Oh, Actually, you want to do give me a quick. perception as you're heading up. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. You overhear this, like, uh, one guy who's just like, yeah, that, like, uh, Wood Elf that, that was here totally smashed one of the bottles and, like, yeah, it was awesome. You should have seen, <laughs> you should have seen her face, Vern. Like, that, that, that's going to totally teach her. And he cool. sees you and, like, walks <laughs> off quickly. Got it. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll be like, in Elven, I am a terrible actor, but the job is done. <laughs> uh, Vern the Blacksmith, he, he nods approvingly. He's like, yeah, let's... We'll give you that discount we were talking about. So, Quiver for one gold... Yep. And uh, how many arrows are you able to spare? Um, they start counting, and they give you five silver arrows. Five. And how many? How much money for all these? Um, let's see. Originally, it was one fifty for ten. Their normal price is ten for one. So, they'll, let's see, they'll sell it to you for, uh, one for, one for five, so 25 for the five arrows. Oh, sweet. Yeah, they, they dramatically dropped it because, you know, you showed, showed that woman never oh, yeah. to scorn Vern. Totally. Yeah, bro. No problem, bro. Okay. 
Cool. So 26 gold to them. Yep. Great. And how many arrows can this quiver hold? You said it holds more than it looks like? Oh yeah, totally. It holds like 50 arrows. Oh. Huh. Well, thank you so much. Um, and then I'll go off and try and find the other things I was looking for. Um, do you want me to roll investigation to the... expedite that? Yes. Uh, what's the next thing you're looking for? Um, let me look at my list real quickly. That was a mediocre roll. <laughs> um, I was looking for general like traveling stuff. Um, iron spikes, water skin, silver rope. Oh yeah. Uh, they someone would direct you after a few tries down south to the section where Austere abandoned Norik. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I hate so. to interrupt, but shouldn't the mule under player characters be named Herbert? That's uh, true. Yeah, that is true. Actually, um, I will set this so everyone can actually edit it. Cool. Cool. Herbert and Squeakers are going to go along well. <laughs> yep, I f keep forgetting you have that. She is who? Yep. Oh, oh, yes. It's it's a secret, man. It's a. Uh... Oh. Okay. Yeah. Secrets. I will not. I won't. I won't ask. So yeah. Um. You find. Basically everything you want. Uh. They're probably selling it to you at price that's found in the player's handbook because. Mm -hmm. I'm not. That. Yeah. That's totally fine. Um. I'll just do that math and stuff, and we can skip my bartering sessions. I'm yeah. not going to haggle. <laughs> I The mule was fun. This would be like, yeah. Yeah, this is that was, this would be tedious. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, I was thinking about taking a break and seeing where people were at. Um, so let's take another, like, ten-minute break. Alrighty. And we'll see if people want to continue or not. Sounds good. Alrighty. Okay. Alright. Okay. Uh, that mule thing was fun. Hey, thank you everyone who's watching this video. Um... Sorry we couldn't do it live. Once again, I'm having internet problems, but once those are fixed, maybe we can start doing live streaming again. I am Paul. I am the GM. If you want to find me on social media, I'm on Twitter at Paul underscore Garish. I basically tweet about puppies and D&D. &D. And if you don't like either of those, you probably shouldn't follow me. Um... Yeah, and if you're watching this channel, this is the channel that I'm running right now. So hit the subscribe, hit that bell, like us, all that stuff. Uh, Christy, you go next. Yep. Christy here, or Very Random Butterfly. Either way, you can find me on YouTube at Very Random Butterfly, on Twitter at B-R-Y-R-D-M Butterfly, and I post art and gaming related stuff. So, yeah. Um... I'm Luke Skytrekker. Um, you can find me on Twitter as Luke underscore Skytrekker. Um, and I am also running a small little online story called Tejfap. It's a little sci-fi thing. T-E-J-F-A-F um, dot WordPress dot com is where you can find that. Uh, Guy, Ooh. how about you? <clears throat> I'm Guy, uh, small-time YouTuber. Um, that guy who can't sing. Just mush it all together. That's, that's me. All one word. <laughs> um, yeah, check me out on YouTube or look me up on the Twitters. And um... cool. Hey. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be big one day, man. You're gonna be big. Yeah, I'm happy to know you in your early days, guy. Yeah, same. Um, <laughs> Hey, I'm Ethan, um, a.k.a. Ethan13Hendrix, a.k.a. Gat Stampede, from, I'm from Battle of the Hot Gaming. 
Um, you can find us um, everywhere, website, YouTube, Twitter, etc. Um, we do D&D, tabletop, video games, computer games, etc. And recently AMVs. Um, but yeah, find us if you want. AMVs, wow, you're uh, kind of... It's nice. Hit. Yeah. Woo, I'll have to watch one. All right, that's it for us. Thank you again for watching this. Um, and we will have more next week. Woo! Yeah. Goodbye.